Now we're going to plot a plane onto a net using visible geology. So this is a photo of a beautiful sequence of folded carbonate rocks in France with a geologist for scale. The geologist has taken some strike and dip measurements. So the west limb of this fold has a strike of 170 degrees and it's dipping 30 degrees. So if I was to enter this manually onto a stereo net, what I would do is I would find 170 degrees around the outside. So that would be here. I would then grab this and drag it to the nearest hemisphere. So in this case, that is over here. Then what I would do is I would identify whether this is dipping to the east or to the south or to the west. This is dipping westward, so we're going to come over here and we're going to count in 30 degrees. So this is 10, 20, and 30 degrees over here. So what I would do then is draw a great circle that goes from north to south along this 30 degree great circle. So it would come through like this. So if I plot this up on this stereo net, I'm going to plot a plane. This is the west limb of the fold, has a strike of 170, a dip of 30, and it is going to be blue. We want to plot the plane in this case, so we go accept. And here we are, we have a great circle that is going from 170, and it has a dip of 30 degrees. So if I grab and drag this, I can now see that this two-dimensional great circle is representing a three-dimensional dipping surface. So this is dipping towards the west, and it's quite gently dipping.